Hello friends, welcome to Gardening with Creekside. I am Jenny and here we are at the production area of the nursery. We've been here many times before. Behind me you see our two production greenhouses. We are standing in the middle of one of our shrub lots. We are standing here because Jerry has been working on this area. We are in the process, almost done, with switching over our irrigation system. When we first put this shrub lot out here, it was solely for the purpose of growing mums. And so we showed you this system, I guess, gosh, last summer when we were potting up shrubs, Check out the link above, I will show that to you. But basically we had drip tape that would go to each pot and it would drip inside the pot. There's pluses and minuses of that, but we've decided to move away from that and to do all overhead watering. So you can see that we have, um, Jerry has put down new landscape fabric that is for weed prevention, keep things neat and tidy, um, and installed these over the head sprinklers. So they are spaced, um, this will, shoot water out for 30 feet so 15 feet on each side they are spaced 30 feet apart this way because the 15 feet and then the rows are 15 feet apart this way this is one a one inch pipe a one inch pipe and do you know the rate that it flows out of he says no but what it does do is nice, big, heavy drops of water. Um, so it really mimics rain. So when it falls, it's not a mist. It's a nice, big, fat, heavy raindrop and it falls and it really does soak into the shrubs really well. Right now, of course, the shrubs are still in their linear lines because of the drip tape, but we will be reconfiguring that more into blocks. So say all of the one kind of butterfly bush is here, the Miss Violet is here, the Pugster is here, so that way we can group plants by what they are instead of just in rows, more blocks, and we can get more plants on here. We will also have mums coming in this week. It's crazy. I know we think mums, that's the fall, right? Cool, pumpkins, da 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 da. Well, we actually start growing mums right here in June. Again, we've done a video on that, so we'll link that one above too. Um, but they, yes, they come into us as little baby plugs. We pot them up, put them out here. Mums actually grow here in the hot, hot sun, and then they start flowering once it cools off um, in the fall. So that's where we are. So let's go in here because we had um, some new deliveries come with lots of the baby shrubs. So Whereas Walter's Gardens is the nursery that provides Proven Winners perennials, um, Spring Meadows is the one that provides all of Proven Winners shrubs. So coming in here, I've got some fun little shrubs to show you that I think you're going to be interested in. So we got the new, look at these, aren't they cute? This is the Quick Fire Fab Hydrangea. So this is a new hydrangea from Proven Winners. You can see these are in quart size gallons, quart size gallons, quart size containers. We will move them up to a two gallon container. Um, the great thing about, of course, hydrangeas is that they are pretty fast growers. So there's the Quick, quick Fire Fab. Well, then we have, let's see, Limelights. Jerry, what else do we have over here? firelight but look at this you can tell in the size difference of the plant limelight <laughs> limelights are of course those nice big huge hydrangeas and even as this size they are much larger already um also now this one is one that i am super excited about this is a barberry this is new this year they sent us um, a test one, a trial one, last end of the summer, I believe. So this is Sunjoy Neo. This is a nice, petite, small barberry. It has this gorgeous red color. Mine right now is flaming red. Gorgeous color. Absolutely beautiful. Now, like all barberries, they do have little thorns, which could be problematic if you put it in the wrong spot. 
but it also can actually be very helpful because it does have those little thorns. Um, so this is a great, if you're looking for a little extra security, of course, put it around your windows. Nobody's gonna come in um, in the briar patch. They're gonna be a little bit more deer resistant because they have those thorns. Again, if deer are hungry, they will eat anything. But if you are looking for massive pop of red color, then you will love this Sunjoy Neo. Um, but look at all these, look at all these babies. We have, um, one of my absolute favorites is the Let's Dance Blue Jangles. Let's Dance Blue Jangles is a fantastic little petite hydrangea. I know that right now you're like, well, Jenny, they just looks like everything else. <laughs> Mine at home has just started blooming. So it'll be a mop head, beautiful blue. Um, you can do morning sun, afternoon shade, nice and petite. So this would also be a great option if you wanted to put it in a container. Like if you, I had somebody um, just this weekend, um, Emily from Charleston said that she, of course her space is limited and that she needed a hydrangea to go in a pot. So she got a Let's Dance Blue Jangles. Um, lots of fun things. So we will show you, oh, we got some forsythia. Forsythia, of course, is yellow bells. So this is Sugar Baby. Sugar Baby is gonna be a little bit smaller than um, Show Off. So this will be a nice petite one. Remember Forsythia or yellow bells as we call them here in the South. Great early, early spring bloomer. Bright yellow color. So we will be potting these up in the next week. Yeah, week, 10 days, we'll get them all potted up so that they can get growing into their bigger containers and we can then have them ready for you at the end of the summer into the fall. Let's back out so we can go next door. So I know they're all tight in there together, but there's, how many would you say, Jerry, are in there? A lot. <laughs> here are some roses. So the roses are out here. There is, of course, the, um, at last is right here. Lots of at last. This may be all at last. No, lemon zest, all sorts of fun things. So, and then coming in here, we have really been condensing um, plants and bringing them in, making them tighter because of course we do have the automatic watering in here. So it is good to go. But we still have lots, if you're coming to us here at the nursery, we have still got tons of annuals for you beautiful gumfrina if you're looking for a butterfly magnet then you can't go wrong with the gumfrina the truffle of pink it is just a huge butterfly magnet loves the hot hot sun does a great job gets nice and full and bushy it's interesting because some people will say that it stinks that it has a smell i don't know if it's like cilantro you know how you either you love cilantro or you hate it but i have never been able to smell the gumfrina Maybe my sniffer's broken, I don't know. But I've never had an issue um, smelling it. But a sweet friend of mine that lives five minutes down the road says hers stunk to high heaven last year. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, so of course we've got still lots of um, things need to be watered in here. Lots of petunias and vermilionaire. We've got a bird in here that's flying around. <laughs> Vermillionaire, of course, is that great um, hummingbird magnet. So if you're looking to bring your hummingbirds into your garden, you cannot go wrong with Vermillionaire. Still got um, lime thyme coleus, lots of beautiful things. Let's come down here though. We've got, I do wanna show you, um, this is a fun one, look at this. So if you remember, I think I've told y'all about this, that the sweet folks at Classic Caladiums, who are the breeders, producers of the Proven Winners um, Caladiums, sent me, I'm gonna let's see if Jerry can zoom in, if the camera will work, sent me some samples of other Caladiums and some of their cannas. So this is one of their cannas that they sent me, and this is Madeira. So Madeira is gonna be a really fun one to put out into the garden beautiful nice green leaves but the bloom on that thing is absolutely stunning so madeira i'm loving madeira and then we have let's see oh my gosh 
again, look at the foliage on this. This is red velvet. If it never bloomed, just the foliage alone would be stunning, but it does bloom. So we will be showing you um, updates as they bloom, what they look like. There's several of each variety in here. Cleopatra was one that they gave us also that we put into the wheelbarrow. So lots of fun. Things are just growing and doing really well around here. I know it's gonna be June, yeah, in like what, a day or two? So still great time to plant. We are actually planting the back patio. We are <laughs> so behind on our annuals. So as long as you don't mind getting out there and giving a little bit of extra TLC, you still have got plenty of time, even in the South, to get out there and put lots of plants in your garden. Um, but we thought it'd be just be fun to come up here and kind of show you that we still have got plenty of plants left. And there's actually a hummingbird. Can you see it? There's a, oh, there she's gone. Okay, was it a he? Yeah, I don't know. Um, so we have, I know, depending on where you are, either in the country or even the world, we only have one kind of hummingbird here, um, and it's the ruby-throated hummingbird. So you can tell the difference easily between the males and the females because the males have this really bright red, like almost an iridescent throat, whereas the females just have a white throat. So that's why I said it was a male or a female because it's really easy to tell. They love the petunias. They love the hanging baskets. And with this greenhouse having the doors open and the sides open, they can easily come in and out and just have the best time in here. Um, so it's a lot of fun to always kind of find your hummingbirds. Again, thought y'all might find it a little interesting to see what's going on up here at the production lot. As always, we'll keep you updated with the shenanigans here at Creekside. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, friends.